Well, I arrived in uh, Faro, bang on time at 10 to one. Had my car by about, I think it was, no sorry, 10, 20 to one. Had my car by 10 past one. And I've had the most epic cock up with a battery and had it in my camera, never touched it. And I've got here and turned it on to start taking pictures and nothing's going on. So I've had a, I've just come here for a coffee and asked them to plug it in, which they have hopefully did. So look, worst case scenario, I'm just gonna have a little wander around on the beach and around the back of the, the sandbar here and wait for the power to go up on that one. I don't know what to call this section, sort of sandbar, hotels, apartments. Um, it's a really lovely walk. The beach is on my right. The lagoon and the, um, the reserve room for most of the reserve is on my left. Down to this, it's like a sort of motorhome caravanning place. For some reason, this is where I saw the Wuchat Shrike, I saw Hoopoos, and um, before I found my battery was glitching, it was um, crested larks. So I'm just gonna have a little wander back there. So this is the, yeah. It's fenced, so I can't get in there, which is a pain. I tried to look around last time and see if I could say, hey, could you let me in? This is it. So the birds are in there, so I think because of the, the fence, they feel a bit more protected, so they, um, they move about a bit in there. Now, I've spotted a, a black, a male black red star in there. It's been a, been a long time since I've got one of those. He's over there behind that tree. Sometimes lands on these posts, so I'm just waiting for him to get used to me. He doesn't seem too bothered, but it's random where he seems to land at the moment. I mean, I saw him straight away. It's, I mean, I haven't seen one for ages, but it was like, it was no sparrow. And when I saw it standing up like black from the back on the edge of a pavement, just saw something moving a bit odd for a, for a sparrow tail up in the air. And I just don't look, it's got a female Sardinian warbler. Record shots. Just, uh, yeah, just zoomed in. Female Sardinian warbler. Definitely, yeah. I'll just take a couple of pics for records very clearly different shape from this distance. How do you know from that distance? It stands out, especially when they're on their own. Sparrows don't normally go off on their own. Like oh, just had a woodlark call and fly in. So while I'm waiting for a black red star, maybe he'll give me a couple of nice closes. Listen. And essential. I've seen the black red star now. He's over there at that post. So let's be patient and stand here and hope he lands on that one right in front of me. It's over there. Uh, where's Woodlark? Okay, where's Woodlark? We'll try a couple of picks. Yeah, he's giving me some good shots. Through the mesh. A little bit of crest would be nice. gonna drain in this crappy battery very quickly. Stand still. Got some sort of cockles or something, cockle pickers here. Oaks, cockles, I don't know what grows here. Yeah, I, I must remember this is last time. I have to remember to try and get here when the tide is is in. Sorry about this. Mm -hmm. What a racket. This is the start of the walk. I'm hoping for some Sardinian warblers, but more importantly, I want like a plane. Actually, I don't think I've heard a plane land in ages. There's some Dunlin. Oh, I hear Sardinian warbler. Hear that? Yeah, what I really want is some really good pictures of the black shouldered kite. I did that on purpose. It's good to have somebody Portuguese talking in the background. Still there. Down there somewhere.
think that's a zitting sister cola. That would be nice. He's up there. They're almost impossible to spot. This place is a zoo. Ah, what the hell is this? I've got sardinian wobblers. We need lifers. We need lifers and important things and better pictures of things we we haven't got yet, or we have got, sorry, but uh, we need some better pictures. The tide is already too far out now. Um, I wasn't going to come all the way down to the walk through the reserve because the water's out. But I'm here anyway, and I'm glad I did because I'm, yeah, um, I'm sort of halfway along now the path. And there's loads of greater flamingos over there. And there's a, a spotted red shank. Now it took me like what three years to get one of those before now it's just I was photographing a, um, a black wing stilt by the island it looked good it was like leaning it was on one leg and it was isolated it looked really good and I, I kept seeing a head bobbing up behind and as I got round I went ah oh, it was a so I got a black wing stilt and spotted red shank with the island in the one shot with the lovely isolated uh, water so he's just no he's just right there hunting around uh, so yeah over there loads of um uh, waders, uh, shovelers, teal, widgeon, cormorants, the, I've seen a spoonbill, um, yeah we're clocking, I think we're closing on the 40 species away, I, th I might as well just, yeah, I might as well just go to the hide, uh, cr you know, crush a load of uh, species today, I've still got about two hours of uh, sunlight, let's have a look, yeah. yeah, so we'll go to the hide, half an hour, an hour walk back, um, sun will be going down, so this is always going to happen when I'm uh, filming is something's going to jump up and I'm not going to have time to film it. So next time, Justin, just just drop the GoPro. Well, don't drop the GoPro, but it's just don't mind if you um, just have to, don't reach in and stop recording. Just let it drop. Um, and just take the picture of what was going. You can just edit it out. Yes, so this is just my first attempt at filming trying to get used to filming and taking pictures at the same time i'll probably make some sort of like predator harness at some point so it's always facing out of me and i'll just keep it recording and obviously if something pops up i catch it at least on video stilts coming in Yeah, so we're going to go to the, uh, that's the sort of line of the golf course over there. There's a pond there with a hide, a little bit and swamp hen, village weavers hopefully. Black-headed weavers, so village weavers are, uh, oh we've got swallows here, nice to see them nice and early. Barn swallows. Um, it's going to be a couple of months probably before we're in the UK. It's nice, we've got a lone... Uh, Flamingo here. He's uh, doing the digging in the mud to bring up the nutrients. She or she. <laughs> uh, what we can. Let's have some of this. Okay, so we got some. We got. We got some, some flamingo ones. Are we? Are we? Are they sharp? It's amazing how um, not all not everything's not always sharp because such a long lens, a slice bear movement does kind of throw it off. It being and all the heat haze as well. Yeah. See, I don't know if it's like if I've got a cheap lens and it's got one of these converters, so it goes on the new the new mirrorless camera goes on with this um, Sigma, which is an older lens, so they don't communicate as well. I don't know until one day I get. Or I at least try an expensive lens and I go, oh my god, why didn't I do this sooner? Because they cost five, six, seven, ten grand. And here we just finally got to the second bird hide, and this is the, the golf course where the pond is in we action. So we're looking out. I haven't seen hoopoos on this grass before. This is um I've not been here in Jan in 
fairly favorable for everything's definitely lusher so could be something but yeah i need this seems to be there's no it doesn't seem to be a road in here i think i need to like drive out to the motorway go across and come back down and then is there security or can i sort of drive and then because that's a heck of a walk if you just want to cut you know cut cut time quickly by using uh barn swallow you know by using your car now i'm just looking for the black headed weavers they might not be here they might oh. hoopoo right where is this guy any weavers 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 yeah i mean last couple of times i was here when there were weavers these reeds were much higher so maybe they don't come here till they've grown a bit more right hoopoo hoopoo I'm just going to stash you away for a second, so I'm ready for this guy. Might as well get my little Cinquecento in. Lovely colour. It's better than white. Okay. Nice, my little hopper. And I'm actually quite lucky because I've, I've just been looking around and none of those uh, e-scooters are available. So maybe they don't bring them out until the proper tourist season. So good I'm driving, I'm hiring a car, not using those scooters because I wouldn't have been able to anyway. But it's handy because I mean, I, I leave my food in there, leave everything I'm not carrying, you know, unzip the bottom of these trousers, leave them in there um, and use it as a hide as well. So it's a good sort of getting around and dumping ground for all my bits and pieces so I can just hop out. Spotless starlings, I probably never even noticed them before. It's just that. I looked online and somebody said spot the starlings. I thought they were just normal ones, but you can hear they don't sound like. Had to hit the beach for a cup of coffee. Listen to that sound. Oh, let's go that way because of the sun. Look at that stretch. That's a couple of hours walk that. That's the handy thing about the car as well. Leave all my stuff, that's it there, just the Cinquecento behind me. You can leave all the stuff in there, keep an eye on it. And uh, yeah, I was gonna go running around like a madman today, but come on, I cannot come to the beach. <laughs> and it's the, the coffee is a Euro. <sighs> I'd come down here just for a couple of hours. I think I'd do that with Anna one day. Just say, if you can get up early enough, we sleep on the plane. We just come and sit on the beach for a couple of hours. I mean, when you pay 20 quid in the cab to go down. Yeah. I think they're building, it looks like they're building, if you can see, another a bridge to get people over here faster. Work's going on. They're doing the columns, so... I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because it will just mean... Um, Tons of people coming over here once the access gets really good. If they get rid of some of these fishing huts and put up some hotels, uh, no more cheap holidays. I suppose I'll be saying to myself, I'm lucky I did it when I did. Anyway, back to my coffee. Oh, we're in the bird hide. I'm gonna spend a little time here. I've uh, parked up nearby, so I don't have to walk all that way next time. Uh, I'll spend about half an hour, 40 minutes here before going and exploring the rest of the, the golf course area. I'm hoping bee eaters hanging about on a wire somewhere. So yeah, out front we've got loads of uh, got pochards, teal, there's a single uh, pintail there. Gulls are bathing over there. Now last time I was here there was a couple of night herons there. Um, I've seen some female village weavers, so they're about. Um, so they don't obviously they only nest probably in the in the reeds. I was hoping for the little bit, and I did see them last night, but it was behind a reed, so it wasn't a great shot. So got to be. Oh my god.
Ah, so I'm right in the heart of the, uh, the golf club area. There's no gates or anything, so I'm allowed to drive here. But this is this is a bit nice. This is very nice. I've not visited these lakes before. To see anything with water, I come and check out. Um, oh, I can see something, probably cormorants drying up over there. But uh, yeah, look at this. Yeah, there's like a restaurant in the middle of the the bridge over. Am I allowed to walk on this grass? I don't know. There's paths. There's no signs that say don't do it. Oh, I don't know what this is. Function room. There's uh, what tennis courts. Straighten that. already somebody drilling. Ah, oh, this is a bit nice. Uh, yeah, still has uh, the, um, where are we? Further west than where I normally go. I've never walked this far because I'm always out of, um, it's about seven or eight mile round trip. I'm, but a uh, great big parking area that said pavement at the front. And I went, oh, the gates are up. And it says only from June to September. So all these covered uh, parking, but it's free now. And it's right on top of, look, this, this, the, I've always seen this bridge in the past, but never walked up to it. So let's go and see a bit of the um, the beach that we've never seen before. Oh, that was the bench they were talking about. So how many people are taking pictures there? So oh, there's even another walkway along the north side of this inlet so the walkway carries on around there and we're gonna go and have a look at the sea on this side fucking love it absolutely love it <laughs> And it's so cheap, I just hope people don't find out about it. And here I am, blogging or vlogging. Yeah, I mean, this is perfect weather, because if I need to, I can put it, it's just, it's warm, but there's a little bit of wind. If this, if that sun disappeared, it would be very chilly. But this is the time of year to do it, about February. 18, 19 is comfortable. I mean, I might get a little bit of a, a bit of a burnt skin. I'll put a bit of um, lotion on, not lotion. Moisturise on tonight, take care of it. Oh mate, yeah. You can hear the Wimbrels calling. I hope that Wimbrels not curlew, someone will correct me. But I haven't seen any. There was a little Dunlin. That might be a, is it a curlew? I can't say, I'll have to look through my camera. Look at this, look at this. I've never been here before. This beach. <sighs> Even if I wasn't coming here for the birds. I just come and uh, plot up. Don't need a tent. Just, just a little rug or something. Or just sit on those, all those little pallets. 